Perfect. So I'm Shrils. I work for Dun & Bradstreet as a data scientist and uh, core objective of my job involves tools development as well as model development, data preparation. I mean, you name it, you know, I'm involved in that. To be frank, you know, that's how my day goes. So just a simple intro, I can show you my profile and, you know, we can start from there. And uh, let's, let's do that. <clears throat> so I predominantly work on credit risk industry and uh, I'm working on, uh, I'm working at Dunbrad Street in Chennai and I'm also doing my master's right now. Um, and if you look at, uh, you know, my experience, uh, it has been completely into analytics and uh, machine learning. So I'm basically from that end of things. Uh, anyway, so one of the interesting things that I did right now, just to show you guys, is that I just went and searched for my name. I, I don't have a LinkedIn profile open right now. To a fact that I haven't even logged into it LinkedIn, right? Yeah. And as soon as I put in Shreyas Raghavan, uh, which is my name, I could see the first link being a LinkedIn link that you guys have seen, obviously. Uh, the third link being a GitHub link, right? So let me click on this. And once I click on this, you can see my beautiful repository with my followers and whatnot, right? And Quite interestingly, you could see some Instagram links, and I would say don't go there. Uh, but you can see something which looks like this, right? So basically, blog posts which I have actually written, right? So essentially, when we talk about portfolio, right, people don't consider portfolio to be such a thing. We have so many data scientists across the board, and what they don't focus on is basically creating a portfolio like a proper portfolio which i just showed right so i can basically try to search for someone else name who has written uh, and i should basically get their links or whatever it is right i mean that's step one step two is the fact that when i have to show my work to my recruiter like uh, you know i just did it once or twice so not really too much to ask there. I give them a link which looks like this. Right? And once I give them something like this, what they could eventually do is they could go to this link and it opens a web page which is basically maintained by me. I mean, it's been quite a while since I did that. It's all completely free, it's all basic, you don't need to worry about it. But Here's the thing, they could come here and they could look at my portfolio. So when we talk about portfolio, we need to talk about what all things we've done, what all type of projects have we taken out, right? What sort of experience do we have, right? And if there's someone, like you, you guys give your resume, but that's just step one of it, right? Let's say that in your resume, you, you, can, you couldn't write all the 10 projects. You can tell them that, hey, you know what? Why don't you go to this particular website and see if you can ask me some question based on this project and probably you would like that. Yeah, I guess following, following me on that, just say yes or no. I mean, I like to keep it that way because I wouldn't know if I'm actually audible to you guys or not, right? Perfect, right? So that's step one. Now you may think, hey, this looks complicated, right? But guess what? It's not complicated. It's, it's, it's pretty simple to do. So we're going to focus on that. We'll take it one step at a time, right? Uh, I know like, you know, LinkedIn is something that you guys have to sit and build, whether it's connections or your post and all. And I know some of my students have actually done that. Uh, but more often than not, my focus is going to be on GitHub. And I'll tell you what GitHub actually does. What are the advantages to actually having something like this? and uh, where exactly github fits into picture right and uh, why you should basically leverage something like github for your regular usage as well as for your portfolio systems right like what you whatever you guys want to show so let's let's go step by step on this <clears throat> 